Chapter 7, Mishnah 1. We learned that the produce of Shemitah year has sanctity, which requires it to be treated in a special way. It must be eaten or consumed in a food-like manner, and it may not be wasted or used for business purposes. It must be left for all to take. It may not be guarded by the owner of the field in which it grew. In addition, most Shemitah produce requires biur, removal. The process of biur is performed when each species of produce is no longer available in the field for wild animals to eat. At that point, a person who has any of that species in his house must give up his rights of ownership in it and put it outside his house for anyone to take. However, not everything that has Shemitah sanctity is subject to biur. This Mishnah deals with produce that has Shemitah sanctity and requires biur. And the next Mishnah speaks of produce that is Shemitah sanctity, but does not require biur. We now turn to the words of the Mishnah. The sages stated a major rule about Shemitah. Any produce that is food for people or food for animals, or a species used for dyeing, and does not last in the ground, i.e. it rots if left in the ground for a long time, has Shemitah sanctity, and if it is sold for money, if it is sold, the money received for it has Shemitah sanctity. It is subject to the requirement of biur because it eventually rots and becomes unavailable for wild animal, animals to eat. And if it is sold, the money received for it is subject to the requirement of biur. The Mishnah discusses each of three categories it just listed. Food for people that does not last in the ground, food for animals that does not last in the ground, and species used for dyeing that does not last in the ground. It starts by teaching that certain plants are considered food for humans, even though people rarely eat them. And which types of produce are examples of these things? This first category, i.e. human food that does not last in the ground, includes the leaf of the wild loof, which, though bitter, can be eaten by being sweetened. The leaf of mint, endives, and leeks that are wild, which are eaten when the, veg when the garden varieties are unavailable. Per slain, a type of herb with edible leaves, and the milky blossom. Even though these are not frequently eaten, they are eaten often, often enough to be considered food, so they have Shemitah sanctity. The Mishnah moves on to examples of the second and third categories, those of animal food and diet materials. Plants used for animal food that do not last in the ground include, some, include soft thorns and thistles. Species used for making dye that do not last in the ground include aftergrowths of isatis and safflower. All these products have Shemitah sanctity, and the money received from them has Shemitah sanctity. They are subject to the requirement of beer, and the money received from them is subject to the requirement of beer.